Welcome to Educator.com. Today's lesson is Intro to Ruby. Um, so this is the first lesson and this will be a very general overview of what is Ruby. Um, it's, a, it's a dynamic programming language. Um, it's very, very expressive. Um, and it's complex, but it's very simplified for all the things it can do. Um, as we go through many of the other lessons, you'll see why it's called complex. But all these different functionalities that's built in it make it really easy to do uh, many different types of apps and features that you're making your application in. So uh, Ruby does come with a, a core class library. And it has a very rich, powerful API. Um, it's also the called the the Ruby standard library. So, who created Ruby? Um, it's a guy named. Yaku, Yakuhiro Matsumoto. He's better known as Mats. Um, before he uh, used Ruby, he uh, actually developed um, and, and multiple other languages. Um, but he was never satisfied for, with any of them. Um, when he created it, his philosophy for Ruby was he wanted to design um, a language to make programmers happy. And um, that's a nice thing to have, I believe. Uh, what he wanted to do was, he actually said he wanted a, a scripting language that was more powerful than Perl, more object-oriented than Python. And that's why he decided to design his own language. Um, so he, he used in the past uh, Perl, C, Java, uh, but he was never satisfied. He has influences using Smalltalk, Lisp, and Python. So it's kind of Ruby uh, has a lot of influences, uh, multiple influences for, for many languages. Um, so it, it's, uh, it's, it's nice to know that it, it's gotten that influence and it's made this really good language. Um, so let's talk about the history of Ruby. Um, it was a the name Ruby itself was established in uh, February twenty uh, fourth, ninety three, in a chat session. Actually, um, he had a, a chat with one of his uh, cohorts, and uh, they were discussing if maybe we should make a language and, and what should it do. Um, so, uh, after they established the name, they got the ball rolling. Uh, they actually released version zero nine five in uh, December 1st, 1995. Um, at that time, in development, they, you know, it was a very basic language. They were still in progress of uh, doing object-oriented design in there, adding classes with inheritance, uh, mix-ins, iterators. And, and remember, all these things I'm saying we, we will go over in, in further courses. Uh, closures exception handling, and garbage collection. Um, so about a year later, on December 25th, 1996, he actually released the, the Ruby 1.0. And um, 